Oh, finally, finally, I got you. I was, I tried twice, but it didn't work. Let's see what, if we can, um, see, let's see if it works. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. And what I'll do first is talk about him, KK. KK has a very, um, a, a, a strong following, Krishna Kumar Kunath. Um, he is, uh, he died just now, the 31st of May, and he was known as KK and was a, what's called an Indian playback singer. He began his career by singing um, advertisement jingles and made his film debut with a soundtrack. And in 1999, he launched his debut album titled Paul. In 2009, he won the Screen Awards Best Playback Singer, male for his song Coup d'Ajian of the film Bachna Ai Hizno. He has received six Filmfare Awards nominations. And on uh, the 31st in 2022, uh, just a, a month ago, month and a half ago, he performed, he was performing in a live music concert in the Garuda's College Festival at Nardzul, Nardzul Mancha Auditorium in South Kolkata. After the concert, he returned to his hotel in Esplanade and he complained of feeling unwell soon after the performance on his way back to his hotel where he suffered a cardiac arrest. Now, he was not, he had not passed. I had to bring him to um, he was in the light, but I had to have him cross over. Efforts to revive him at the hotel were unsuccessful, and he rushed to he was rushed to Calcutta Medical uh, Research Institute at around 10:30 p.m., where he was declared dead. He was 53 years old at the time of his death. Now, on June 1st, the Calcutta police registered a case of unnatural death to investigate the cause. His autopsy was videographed. The autopsy report mentioned myocardial infarction, heart attack as the likely cause of death, and the report ruled out any foul play. According to the doctor who conducted the autopsy, KK could have survived if he had received cardiopulmonary resuscitation immediately after falling unconscious. Um, he had experienced pain in his shoulder and his arm, typical of a cardiac arrest, um, a few days before and had informed his wife about the condition and he just mistook it for digestive issues. And a few days after he passed, the Calcutta High Court admitted um, that there was going to be an independent probe into his death. Um, now, later it was revealed that a total of three cases on the same issue were registered in the Calcutta High Court. Lawyer Roy and Lawyer Banjri have registered the other cases. And according to Roy, there is a CBI probe that's needed to figure out what the neg negligence was behind the death of the Bollywood singer. Let's see if we can get any more information. And as I do this, I will be guided by KK to answer things that he would like to respond to. So let's see. Um, now, like I always say, you know, you, the more you write, the worse it is. Um, okay. Now, You ask if it was negligence on the part of the organizers and also KK's team. He was unwell before the performance and he couldn't hardly walk. Why wasn't I taken to the hospital directly. There was an issue that had to do with me and those around me 
right before the performance. They wanted me to cancel the performance, but indeed it was me who insisted I perform. There was no foul play in this sense. I myself am to blame, and I admit this now. Yes, I should have stepped down, seeing that the organizers were not able to lower the lights, and I had been blinded during the performance. It was seriously not the lights. However, it was my doing, and I was not well during that time. There is another issue having to do with my relationship at home. I had been in a bad way with my family, and my wife and I had been arguing about personal matters concerning the family, which overwhelmed me. And if I must say, it was this external situation, I would be at a loss to say so, because I alone am responsible for what happened that night. Now I can say that I am at peace. You ask about the environment and ask about keeping away negative energy. I can suggest to you that your prayers and your requests can do this far better than my doing from here. It is something that every individual needs to take into their hands. I am saddened for all of those who have lost individuals and loved ones, but I have to say that this is part of life. And I can also say that you should communicate with them directly because, believe me, like I can hear you now, they can hear you directly. There are questions relating to the virus and new forms of COVID-19. Yes, there will be and is an upsurge. And yes, it will cause further difficulties. Again, all you can do to protect yourselves is to recite your invocations and give thanks to the divine and pray. There is a question about my soul and if my own soul can mislead or misguide me 
in terms of what gives me peace and what is felt at the deep level. You must understand that you and everyone is not a body with a soul, but rather a soul with a body. And it is the soul that is your essence and not vice versa. So it is impossible for a soul to mislead you. There is a question about SSR and if he will return to the Kapoor family as a child. I have to say no. Another question again talks of spirits that lie. It is not a question of lying. There are positive souls, energy, and negative energy. What your guides or angels, however you call them, do indeed do, are play with you and joke with you. They will never lie to you outright. It is a game. Your responsibility then is to understand when they are joking with you or not. And this simply requires you to ask them. No, I have not taken rebirth. Yes, I was given this choice. And yes, I went to a higher dimension and am in peace. You ask about peace in the mother country, in India. And you ask if there will ever be. But I see there is. And you cannot generalize about there not being peace in the country. There is peace but there is also unrest, and this is the case in any country of the world. You ask about divination, and when divination fails to give a direction. Divination never fails to give a direction. It is not like you believe. There is no one who is going to point you and push you in a direction. You will be illuminated as to the decisions and the possible decisions that can be made. This ultimately requires your free will. All directions are open. You ask about a choice, a contractual choice that you make and if it is accepted. There is no acceptance or rejection. Your choices are your doing and you make them and take action. The results of those actions is what people cause, call karma. Many questions are asked about Sushant Singh Rajput and I understand that he was very beloved. You need to revere a d d member of the divine, a spirit, a divine spirit that can give you some form of hope.
he, like all of us, SSR, like all of us, have played our cards while we were alive. And many have been dealt a hand that you might call destiny. But I need to tell you once again that there is free will and it is your free will that is the upper hand and trumps all other cards. You ask about World War III. It has not started and it will not start. You need to connect to your past loved ones, even if they have died not only recently, but far in the past. Do not worry about having them hear you. They will hear you. No, souls do not cry. There is no emotional pain for souls after they have passed and they are no longer earthbound. You mention gurus and you ask if the gurus you choose listen to you and if they can guide you and if you can have more than one. You can have as many guides as you wish. You are assigned a certain number of guides to your individual life, as was already mentioned. But gurus are figures you yourself choose to follow or to revere. Yes, they do, and they hear you. The problem is that you do not listen enough to hear. Not everyone, but this is a general situation. Sometimes you have to understand that their guidance is such that you feel it as if it were a voice within. Now, if you feel or if you hear some form of guidance that goes contrary completely to anything you seem to believe is positive, then that is not the voice that you believe is a guru. You communicate with your loved ones directly. You communicate with them through speech. You can actually speak to them. And you need to understand when their communication and how their communication can be felt Understand that there are different levels of communication. Many people do not hear messages or see spirits. Many can hear them and not see them or see them and not hear them. But most people feel them. And it is an inner feeling. You may sometimes feel as if a hand was brushing on your skin. You can communicate to me directly and anyone can communicate to 
you in using telepathy and your dreams that are unconscious or subconscious or conscious, you can also have lucid dreams. You ask if alchemy can work for life and living. Yes, it can. When you ask about lessons, lessons that souls need to learn on this earth, there is no need and it is not sanctioned from other div divine members of the universe. Lessons or experiences, it is an experience, are given to you from your soul directly at birth. Your soul decides which experiences it wants, in what domain, and how. Yes, I am in peace, I am in the light. And the greatest message I could give my fans and family is that you need to live in a state of unconditional love and trust. This is so, so important. You ask about self-inquiring and if it is useful for revealing your real self. Yes, it is. However, not many people, again, would benefit from this because simply they do not understand how it works. There is a lot of misunderstanding about the idea of speaking to a soul if they are alive. And I have not taken rebirth and you are speaking to me, but you have also spoken to other souls that have taken rebirth. That is one possibility and it is possible because the soul world has an omnipresence. You can also speak to the soul of a person who is alive, persons you know, to communicate with them subliminal or subconscious communication from a soul to soul level. They may not respond immediately, but their soul will understand. You ask about your soul's purpose. You yourself know this answer and it has nothing to do with what job you do, who you meet or what you are actually supposed to be doing. Your lives are perfect. You are living your life as you choose. This is your soul's purpose. You will feel, however, if you are not doing something that will benefit you and others, and this is when you change what you are doing and how you extend yourself to others, how you interact with others. You ask about Sushant Singh Rajput and whether he is alive. No, not as you believe life to be now. He is not alive on the earth now.
You ask about satanic portals. This is one way of qualifying these negative energy portals. I don't like that name or description of a negative energy portal. But yes, there are negative portals open on the earth and can be even in your home and very close to you. It is very common. The earth is completely full of these negative portals. Why do you think such negative occurrences take place? This has much to do with how people react and act. You ask if Bollywood will ever be clean. And I have to say that it is a process that takes place constantly, every day. It, as, it is as if a child, a newborn, dirties itself and needs to be cleaned. That child is innocent, but this is the way of the world. What you need to understand is that there is both positive and negative in the world that makes life what it is today. You ask about my comments about unconditionality, unconditional love and unconditional trust. And you ask in what? This depends on you. It depends on what you need to trust. You ask about grounding methods. You ground yourself through meditation or some form of meditation. There are different forms of meditation and they are completely different. You ask about the CERN recent scientific experiment and what I think. Please let me tell you that spirits, after they pass, never pass judgment. There is no judgment here. And therefore, I cannot say to you whether it is positive, negative, worthwhile, groundbreaking, because it has nothing to bear on the life after life on earth. And there are still many questions about the afterlife. And if the afterlife has a place that is called heaven, what I can say to make you understand is that any form of what you call heaven has to do with light. And again, here too, just like on earth, light and darkness coexist together. It, you can imagine the universal realm above the earth, the afterlife as you call it, to be a mirror image of life on earth, on the surface of earth and deep into the belly of the earth. You ask about parallel worlds, if they exist. Not only do they exist, but they are parallel universes, parallel timelines. There is also much thought.
thought about depression and stress and negative feelings, how can you overcome this? You can overcome this by simply, and I say simply, praying, having unconditional love, and understanding that you exist for a purpose. Many ask me what they can do to become successful musicians. Probably the world of music is much more difficult than the world of acting. They are the performing arts and to become successful the most important aspect is that you need to work through your heart and let the notion of earning money for that to fade in the background because it is an uncontrollable desire and passion to perform. You ask about time travel, and yes, just like I said, there are parallel timelines. It is possible, and it exists. There is no best time to pray or best time to meditate. If you sleep well, you can sleep well, but if you are awake, why not pray? What comes to you through auto writing and through any form of divination, using tarot cards, any talking boards, any form of reading the divine, can always hide negative presences. It is up to you to understand the difference. And through what I have said so far, you can understand that it is quite easy to see this through your assessment of what the answers are. After a soul passes, there is a memory, but the memory is very fleeting. And like I just said, there is no judgment, no emotional attachment to what was the formal life of a soul. And it is not forgotten per se, but it, the soul does not attach to that after they pass. You ask if going to a temple can help your soul. Like many others have asked, is it worth us to recite in invocations or pray or have certain gurus? All of this is valuable if you yourself feel the need to do that. There are many cultures and many people, diverse traditions. There is not one single answer. But what I can say is that harmony and music doesn't heal the soul. It raises its vibrational rate. It soothes the soul. Healing is an ongoing process from the moment you are born till the day you pass. Many of you talk about others who are aggressive, negative, and give others pain. There is no 
reason at all that you need to be near them. There is no reason at all that you need to be the subject of their pain. Many cannot be helped and it is the responsibility of you yourself to heal yourself first. Leave them to their own devices. Everyone asks about how old their soul is. You cannot yourself know. You need to speak to a person who works at that energetic level. It is not necessary to know how to sing. No one knows how to sing. I did not know how to sing. I sang and I sang again and I sang again and that's how I sang and learned to sing. It is not a matter of quality but a matter of the actual action of singing that raises your vibrational rate. Oh, I'm ready. my brain is going cuckoo. <laughs> my brain is going cuckoo. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I can't go on. Thank you so much for being here and making this um, possible. I have stopped the first season of my um, my consciousness lessons, movement conscious consciousness, breathwork in consciousness, and voice in consciousness, and I will begin up the lessons in another season towards the end of September. Ladies and gentlemen, namaste. And I will be back. I'll be posting my next live sessions. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stay well. Stay well.